Hey everybody, welcome to a little whiskey shopping. Well, not really shopping, browsing Scotch whiskey auctions. I was looking at uh, the current auction, that's this one, uh, number 118. 5,000 bottles, and the most expensive bottle sold was a 72 year Macallan. $58,000. But I thought it would be fun to go and look back at two years ago, which is probably the first time I use Scotch whiskey auctions. 10,000 bottles. Wow, that is a lot. A lot of lots. What was their most expensive? A 70-year-old Glenlivet, 32,000. Anyway, um, let's click through. So back then... You could buy an Anok 24 for a hundred. I said dollars earlier, didn't I? 120 pounds. Now 120 pounds ends up with fees and shipping and somewhere around 220 to 240 ish dollars. So you can more or less double these prices to go from UK pounds to American dollars. Right. So back two years ago, Anok 24 cost 120 pounds, and today. How much does it cost? Of course, everything's got more expensive, so uh, except Anok 24, apparently. <laughs> you could have bought it for £100. So um, there you go. Not everything has got expensive. Let's see how that holds up, though. Ardbeg, Dark Cove. Not the committee release. This is just the 46.5% version. Two years ago, you could buy this for £100. And today... Whoa! <laughs> right, okay. £190 is definitely uh, significantly more, isn't it? Bal Blair, 1983. £300 back then, so it was uh, not a cheap bottle then, but I have tasted this, and it is fantastic. I think you can actually find it in the US uh, a bit cheaper. And today, what are you thinking? 400 500 600 no, 270. You could literally have bought it 30 pounds cheaper than it sold for two years ago. Kind of wish I'd bought it. But there again, 270 is going to be somewhere around 450 to 500 US by the time you get it shipped here. Moving on. So again, another another bargain. <laughs> there you go. Now, Brewers, they're, they're cheap ones, of course. This Brewer, 34-year-old, uh, was only £850 back then. And today, what do you think? Guesses? Oh, almost double. A bit like the Ardbeg, it's gone up almost double. 1600 Yeah. Two years ago, Bonnehaven, 25-year-old, was £250. And the same bottle today, 300. So, you know, not, not too much inflation on that. It almost seems reasonable, doesn't it? Now, I know in the US, this 300 pound bottle, which would probably be about 550 by the time you get it here. This is an eight or $900 bottle in the US. So still way cheaper to buy it and have it shipped. Kleinlish, 20-year-old. Now, I was trying to remember, 8687, is that Roy's favourite bottle? Anyway, two years ago, you could buy this for £130. So how much would Roy have to pay for his Kleinlish today? Oh, 190 e Yeah, 50% increase. Probably because uh, he kept promoting that particular one. But yeah, another big price increase. This is the old, old revival. Remember, this is the uh, Oloroso only one that became super popular. Now, even two years ago, this was a £120 bottle. So today it's going to be crazy prices, isn't it? Uh, no, <laughs> it's, it's, it is exactly the same price. This is, yeah, this is the right auction. £120, the same. So maybe... Uh, People are happy buying the new one and don't feel the need to go and buy the old one. So flat pricing for two years. Or was it just expensive two years ago? 
How about Highland Park 25? This is the 45.7% version coming in at £260. And I think I might have paid that. Maybe this is the one that I bought. I could probably check that. Um, today's price, oh, 380. Now, 380 is going to be bringing you in somewhere around six, uh, the high 600 US dollars. And again, that is still significantly cheaper than you would buy it in the US. So um, if you want one, even 380 is is cheaper. <laughs> I wouldn't say a bargain. Um, another expensive bottle, Laphroaig 27. Two years ago, $260. Now, this is only 41.7%. This is a very gentle Laphroaig. But £260, sorry, £260. Now, 340 So... Again, another, what, 50% or so price jump. Not Actually, not quite that bad, but uh, maybe 30, 35% jump. Macallan 25, ever popular in the collecting pricey game, I guess. Uh, let's see. Macallan 25 was $1,200 and is now 15. Oh, what's that? 25% gain? So it was just expensive back then, I think. How about Nika, 10-year-old? Wow, 140 pounds two years ago. Is it really going to be that much more expensive now? That was already expensive and collectible back then. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> 240 pounds today for a 10-year-old. Yikes. I do like a Yoichi, though. Octomore 6.3. Now, the 6.3, I think, was the last one that Jim McEwen was involved with, and it has a little bit of a um, reputation, I guess. So £160 for a five-year-old whiskey two years ago. Today, 290 That is almost a double, isn't it? And we do have that one in the blind tasting, still waiting for it to show up. Next up... Rosebank Rare Malts, £520, not a cheap bottle of whiskey. And of course, today it is still not cheap because it is now £950 for that same bottle. Uh, hard to imagine it could live up to a price like that, isn't it? Springbank 16, not 16, 13-year-old green. This is um, an organic Springbank, although I think technically they couldn't call it organic, but uh, that's what the green is about. We really like this 46% sherried Springbank and £60 two years ago, perfectly reasonable. Well, maybe a little pricey. Today, oh, 140. This is the first one to more than double, and it's not really that expensive. Um, it's not really a high end bottle, a 13 year old, but Springbank has gone completely crazy because look. Local Barley 16, I thought, was so expensive. Looking at it two years ago, £340 for a 16-year-old. Of course, it was already collectible. But today, £560. So you're talking about well north of 1000 1200 US dollars for this bottle now. That is madness. That's pure collect collectible numbers now, isn't it? And even, look, even the Springbank Local Barley 9, which was £130 two years ago, and that was expensive. Is some Someone paid 220 for the nine-year-old at the current auction, and this is in pounds. So £220 is going to end up at close to US dollars if you actually bought that and shipped it. But why would you? Because it's still on the shelf um, in America if you go and search for under 200 US dollars. 175 price, they are still around if you're in the uh, right area. Uh, so be careful what you buy at the auction. How about a nice Yamazaki 18? Two years ago, 440 pounds. <laughs> that is not cheap, is it? But what is it today? I can't even remember what it was. 580. Collectible then, collectible now. Still a significant chunk on top, but not doubling like some other bottles. Bells. 
We're actually not going to flash back on this one. I'm just going to tell you what I bought this auction. I know, I know. I'm not supposed to be buying any more whiskey. Bell's Blend. This is going to be a present from a dad because he's not a whiskey nerd like all of us. He does buy a bottle of Bell's every now and then and there'll be one in the cupboard. So I just thought it would be fun to compare his current Bell's to this one. I'm guessing is from the 80s considering it's 26.23 fluid ounces. And um, what's the proof? The proof is 70%. So um, that's probably 40% actually, isn't it? Because I'm, of course, now I'm trying to, 70 proof is, is uh, oh, I don't know what it is now in the UK. Never mind. What else did we buy? Look, I thought this was a reasonable price, certainly compared to what it would be in the US. Long row 10, the current Malbec, £75. I want to compare it to the 13-year Malbec that we love. Also, when I was looking, I, I was like, wow, £85 for the long row 18. That Even if I shipped it, that would probably cost about 160 And it's a solid $200 bottle here now. Um, something a bit more obscure. Glen Talker's 26 year from Cadenhead, 52.6% for £130. Um, somewhere around 250 US, I guess. I just loved the Glen Talkers that we had and I wanted to try another one from Cadenhead. So we'll see what that's like. And one more obscure one. A 25 year Blabnock for 140. 50.7%. Another Cadenhead ex-bourbon, the kind of thing that we like. Right, that's it. Going to sign off with that. Bit of fun. Browsing the auction and uh, yeah, wasn't really supposed to be shopping. I was actually looking for the Highland Park uh, Cadenhead that we, we blind tasted recently. But the only one that I found was 200 and something pounds. I don't know. It was way, way expensive. So I left that one for someone else. Maybe you bought it. All right, see you on the next live.